Hello, 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 everyone. Great morning, great morning, great morning. Welcome to Relationship Talk with Sharonda. My name is Sharonda Parker, and I am your host. And y'all, we have so much different stuff to catch up on with. Um, I had an awesome weekend. Today is my first day back to corporate America, so today is my day one. Um, I'm super excited. Um, I always tell people, I think sometimes we try to rush certain processes, but I always tell people, enjoy the journey. Just enjoy the journey. And people say, why are you going back? Well, really, I need insurance <laughs> more than anything, and my kids need insurance. And sometimes you have to make tough decisions, and when you have to make those decisions, you do what you have to do as a parent. Um, this is going to be my first time utilizing my master's degree. Uh, I received it about 15 years ago, never used it. Um, so this is going to be my first time actually using it. So I am excited about that. This is just another part that's going into the chapter. Of course, PPG is going to still do what PPG does, and that is educate you about sex and relationships. So we're about to get started. Um, I got an email this weekend from... Um, my wholesale company and basically they have approved me to sell a certain type of gummy certain gummies um, you don't just get to sell them depending on the potency or whatever but I've been approved to sell this particular gummy so um, it's called Nud uh, it's going to be three gummies in a pack uh, they're strawberry flavor and they are aphrodisiac for women um, they're going to be retailing at $40 a pack because it's three in a pack. But this is what she told me. She said, I got you approved for nut, so you can add them back to your cart. She said, be careful with these because I've been told that they are no joke. So, whenever somebody give me a warning label, that just makes me want to try it even more. So, I can't wait for them to come in. They should be in tomorrow. Um, so, with that being said, I'm super excited about this new product. Um, every time I come back here, my nose is always itching. Uh, another trending topic that was on Instagram this weekend. There's a video of uh, two people. They are middle age, I'll say. Older people. I would say maybe in their 50s or whatever. The lady was moving around and she was dancing. Um, and the man basically told her that her period was on, right? Um, and she was like, huh? And uh, she was like, like in other words, she was kind of taken back. And he was like, your period on. He was like, I'm a man. I, I know. I can smell it. And he was basically saying he could smell it through her clothes. So let me say this. Sometimes um, when people are saying that it's because it's time for you to change out your pad or whatever, depending on what you got, what kind of pads you have, some uh, help with um, locking in odors and smells and some are unscented some are scented or whatever but it also brought me back to this thing where i was thinking and i was like when i was married my ex-husband could tell me when my cycle was about to come on because he could smell the change in my body and i posted the question in the group have you ever been with a partner that could tell you that your cycle was about to come on they could tell you that they could smell it they could tell you that they t they taste the difference in your body um and overwhelmingly women start to talk and say yes and i would think that this was crazy but i always knew like a day a day or two before my cycle's coming on he would be like your period about to come on because he could smell it he could taste it he in other words there would be a change in the body right um and i thought that there was an interesting conversation and this one that we don't have and i personally like it when a man is in tune with a woman's body to that uh, level. Even number two. When I was dealing with number two. He would tell me. Yo, it, it's almost time for your cycle to come on. And I would be like how how you know. He was like I can smell it. And I was just like okay. My body must be giving off some type of pheromones. Because my ex told me this. And then number two told me this as well. Um, But it is a thing. Where your partner can actually pick up on it. And what they're smelling is like the iron. Or the mer mercury. It's not that. You're not keeping up with your hygiene. It's not that um, your body is giving off something offensive. It's just that throughout the month, your body goes through a cycle, right? You experience a certain type of discharge. Uh, sometimes uh, when you're ovulating, you get that old um, sticky looking stuff that look like uh, egg yolk 
whites or whatever. Like your body goes through the change. So it's important that we pay attention to our bodies and keep up with what's going on with them. And because we were talking about that, I say, let me talk about the period panties that I'm selling. Okay. So these are the period panties. Um, they are really pretty y'all because I didn't want just a regular period panty, but I wanted something with some lace. So they have a little lace going on. So they kind of cute and sexy. The lace wrap all around to the side. So these are not just your regular period panty. These are the period panties you can put on this that make you feel good and sexy, right? Uh, the center of them, as you can see, you can see that they're extremely thick, right? Um, this is designed to absorb any leakage. I personally wear period panties with a pad. Um, some people wear them with a tampon. Some people don't wear anything with them, just depending on how their flow is. I've never gotten bold enough to just wear them without any other um, guarded protection. But I know a lot of ladies who only wear a panty and that's it. But I wear them with an actual pad. Um, and some ladies wear tampons with them. I don't, I've don't. i been stopped doing the tampon thing some years ago. Um, I don't know. My body just started rejecting them and I didn't force it. Don't know what went on with them when I was younger. I used to get wear them. Uh, over the years, not sure what they started making them with, but my body would literally reject it. So I, I just stopped bothering with it and went to the more organic type of um, pads. And believe it or not, when you make changes like that, um, your cycle is actually the length of it is, is um, cut down by a few days just by the products that you're using. They are a little more expensive, but um, they're, they're more uh, organic and they don't have like all of those different chemicals and stuff like that in them. All right. This weekend, we had a huge lingerie sale. Uh, I had a lot of lingerie marked down to $10. Now, these are the only sets. Now, if you was in my group, then you actually saw the pictures of me modeling these, right? But this set is a sheer chemise gown. Of course, the model doesn't do it any justice, okay? And this is another sheer chemise gown. The model doesn't do this one any justice as well. When I put it on, baby, I banged that thing out, baby. These curves and everything else was just doing what it was supposed to do in it. And a lot of times when a lady see me wear it, then they like, oh, yeah, I want it. But the thing is, you got to keep in mind, most of the women that I service are women of color, right? And we are more curvy, right? So when we put it on, it's going to look completely different. I still have these in stock. They are $10 each. If you are interested, send me a message on Instagram at only one PPG and I can send you a manual invoice or send me an email at only one PPG at gmail.com and I can send you a manual invoice for it as well um this video wasn't designed to be a long video this morning but I want to make sure that I talk about everything that I want to talk about I went to the comedy show this weekend I actually went to go see Howard Hall this weekend he had a stand up it was pretty okay I enjoyed myself uh just trying to make sure. Oh, one last thing. So, speaking of comedy, right? I went to see Mighty King, that is a female comedian, about maybe two months ago. Maybe three months ago, because it was during a deep in the summer. Um, And I went to go see Mighty King. She was performing at Ruffins in uh, Baker. And a part of her skit, she was talking about dating in 2023. And a lot of times people feel like when I go and meet your mama, that means something. When I meet your sister, it means something. When um, I, I go to church with you, it means something. Like for a lot of people, those are markers for them in a relationship, right? But she basically brought it to the attention that to her, the marker to let you know that you was officially in a real relationship was when y'all could go to Walmart together. Baby, I could not do nothing but laugh. Because one thing that we all know across the country is if you go in Walmart with a man or a woman, right? You're going to see somebody you know. You ain't going, if you're trying to hide somebody, you can't go to Walmart with them because Walmart is like a goddamn club. Everybody in Walmart, right? So you're not about to walk in Walmart with somebody that you ain't supposed to be in Walmart with because you know people will snap it up, take a picture, send it, and be like, look who we're in Walmart with. Because, you know, I, I just thought that was so funny, right? So, on yesterday, I was at, went to Daddy's house, and um, he needed to go to Walmart. And I drive a lot faster than him. Um, he was like, well, how about you drive because you can get us, 
you can get us there faster because I drive. It's it's obvious that I drive a lot different than him. Um, so we pulls up at Walmart, and I tells him about the joke that uh, Mighty King told about going to Walmart. Of course, we get out the car. The first thing he do is grab my hand. Y'all, I thought that was so funny because I'm like, oh, we about to hold hands walking through Walmart. <laughs> so I grabs the buggy and we go on ahead and get the things that we need to get. And we check out or whatever. Loading stuff up in the car. I'm I'm driving back to his house and he, he look at me and say, he say, it's official, huh? I say, what's official? He was like, it's official. We done been to Walmart together. Y'all, I just fell out laughing. I was like, Negro, it's been official. But... I thought that was so funny because that was a joke that she told. So, just so you know, because I, I, I even, you know, posted it in my group. And they was like, well, I thought it was when you meet the mama. I thought it was, I, I don't get excited about meeting no parents. Everybody can meet the parents. Like, do you know how many men bring multiple women to meet parents? I don't care about meeting no sisters. The sisters be cool with everybody, right? I'm not worried about no church. Most people not even active in church like that anyway. You know, the things that people used to have in place that meant something. Oh, but let him take you to Walmart. Mighty King, that was an awesome joke that you told. Like, you literally rocked the house on that one. But um, I just wanted to share that with my followers, y'all, because that was so funny to me. That was so funny. Um, I'm going to wrap this up. I'm going to get ready to go and get my day started. I'm super excited. Um, today is my first day of training. I'm not going to get into too much detail about what I'll be doing in corporate America because I really want to keep the two separate. Um, I don't want the two to bleed over into each other. So with that being said, wish me well. You all be blessed.